Just be thinking about how it is you think that you might be able to contribute starting with this week. This semester, the film department and the history department are coming together in an interdisciplinary effort underneath the umbrella of the Burnett Honors College. And we're really excited about it because it gives us a chance to have film students, history students, and any other students that are in the Honors College collaborate on a documentary film that will actually serve a nonprofit in our community. He's going to give you a line into the camera. Working with honor students that aren't film students is more challenging because you have to help them understand that we are trying to make a film that has a message, a film from which an audience can walk away and feel something. It's not just a journalistic exercise. You structure it in such a way that the resulting product reveals something new about being a human being. Did you guys charge your batteries um, real yeah. good? And you actually have an extra. So okay, excellent. It is hard to imagine why Harry T. Moore and his wife, Harriet V. Moore, haven't gotten more attention. I mean, they are the only civil rights activist married couple to have been martyred uh, during the movement, and yet we don't see them on the memorial in Montgomery. Uh, we don't hear anything about them in the Civil Rights Museum in Washington. I think it's wrong, and Robert Casanello and I are very happy to be a part of many efforts that are going on to try to bring more attention to what they did for our country. So our focus is on the sound, and y'all's focus is on the visual. Doing this project gave me the opportunity to look at history, or at least communicate history, in a different way than I'm used to, because as a historian, we're used to text, so I write journal articles or books, but working on a film is a whole new way to kind of communicate history. And this is something I really appreciate Dr. Mills for, because she kind of let me poke my nose in to shoots and recommend shots. And I think that has been, you know, the, the most exciting thing for me teaching this class, was kind of being able to have control of the camera to some extent. Coming into this class, I was really interested in seeing, like, how a documentary would be made, because that's the sort of thing I'm interested in, but I also came in with pretty much zero experience. You're going to want to come over here and shoot more like against the wall. It was lots and lots of things and you just sort of had to absorb it all and I really like that fast-paced learning style. Just seeing the completed product was like just amazing and to be able to pick out the part that was like, oh I shot that, like that was really cool. I ultimately did learn a great deal about producing, shooting video, editing, the entire process of video production, which is exactly what I want to do with my degree here. So it's very helpful and really great experience.